G'day crew, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at the all new Pen Slammer 4 reels. You're probably well and truly familiar with the Slammer 3s, which came out in 2016 and have absolutely dominated the saltwater market since. Uh, but now we've got the new and improved version of these reels. We've got the 3500 and 6500 sizes with us today. And we're gonna be unboxing these and then talking about some of the specs. Uh, so yeah, let's get stuck into it. All right, let's start with the 3500 size. This is going to be for my um, soft baiting setup. I usually take two soft bait setups with me, a light one and a heavier one. And this is going to be for the heavier of the two. So in the box we have got the, obviously the reel itself, which is nicely packaged and then a spare knob. It's an EVA knob. Also got the washers, don't lose those, and the manual. On the 3500 size reel, I'm going to be chucking on 30 pound Pro Spec. Uh, I run 30 pound on my heavier soft bait setup because I just find if you ever get stuck in the weed, fish takes you into the weed, um, you've got a much greater chance of ripping it out on 30 pound and it's still light enough to cast, especially this stuff. It's really smooth through the guides, so it's going to be going on that reel. Let's open her up. Is super smooth straight out of the box really nice to hold in the hand forgot to mention I've also got the slammer 36500 over here which we're going to be using for reference yeah so that's the 3500 straight out of the box pretty easy to get set up all you need to do is screw in the, the handle and you're away it obviously comes with the spare EVA knob I think I'm gonna weigh them up but I think I'll probably chuck this EVA knob on instead of the um, metal knob. The metal knob's really nice, but I think if I can save a bit of weight, I might chuck uh, the EVA knob on instead. All right, now let's open up the 6500 size. Very excited about this reel. This is what I'm going to be using on my um, kingfish setup. So my heavier setup. I have also got pro spec for this one too. I've got the 50 pound pro spec. Um, which isn't super heavy, but I find that's uh, gonna be heavy enough for um, dealing with kingfish and it's still um, yeah really smooth through the guides as well so it's great Okay guys, so those are the two new reels. Now let's talk about some of these new features. So on the Pen Slammer 3, we had IPX6 water resistance rating. On the Slammer 4, it's still IPX6, but it's an improved sealing. So underneath the spool, there's an additional seal, which means that if you're getting water splashing up from underneath the reel, it's gonna have a harder time getting in while it's not going to get in from underneath the spool. In addition to that, some of the other features that I really like is that these new reels have got a lighter minimum drag setting. So the max drag on these two new reels is the same as it was on the three. However, on the lighter setting, it is much, there is much less drag. Now that is really good because if you are live baiting and there's resistance on that minimum drag setting, when a fish comes to grab your live bait, it's gonna feel the resistance and it's, not gonna, it's gonna spit the bait out essentially or it's not going to eat the bait. So if you look on the Slammer 3, that's the minimum drag, and that is still quite, a, there's still quite a bit of resistance there. However, on the Slammer 4, take it down to that lower setting, it's hardly any, it moves very easily. So that's going to make a world of difference when it comes to live baiting. That's one of the things I've been really looking forward to on this new reel. In addition to the improved drag system, there's also lighter rotors on the four, which means it's going to be easier to get up to speed when you're reeling. And now there are nine bearings in these reels. There were already eight in the Slammer 3, and now they've added an additional one. Now the new bearing is underneath the spool, and what it does is when you're absolutely maxed out and you're fighting a heavy fish, 
and that additional bearing is going to provide you extra smoothness when you're um, you know putting a lot of load on, on the reel and it's just going to make it easier and a smoother experience when you're handling big fish which is pretty much what these reels are designed for. Some of the features that have stayed the same is you still get that massive max drag so you've got 13.6 kilos on the 3500 and then you've got 18.1 on the 6500 which is just a stupid amount of drag for these reels. In terms of gearing and weight uh, that hasn't changed so it's still the same you've got uh, 6.2 to 1 and 5.6 to 1 on these two reels and the weight is the same so this is 13.9 ounces and 24.2 ounces which is the same as the same threes. Um, you've also got that same CNC gearing so you've got brass main gear and brass pinion gear um, which is just really quality metal. Pen have also kept that thick bail arm here, so if you're clumsy or you're like me and you fall over when you're carrying your gear, um, it's not going to bend very easily, which is pretty helpful. New to the Slammer 4 range are also 2500 and 4500 high speed models. So in the past there's been 6500 and 8500 high speeds, um, and now you've got the 4500 and 2500 to those in addition too. So yeah, those are the new slammers guys. Hope you found this video helpful. Um, what I'll do is put a link in the description to the pen website so you can see the full specifications for the full series. Um, and yeah, hopefully get these out on the water soon and put them to the test. I have very high expectations for them based on the Slammer 3. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know how they go. Um, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.